Let's get into it. Let's get jiggy with it. The art of profit. What is that about? This is Glendon Cameron, your hustling godfather, and I'm going to tell you what that's about and why you need to apply these principles to your business. One of the big problems is that many people are glad to be sitting at the table. I have a business. I'm making some money. And that's all well and good. However, you need to build some profitability up in your company. You need to create a certain expectation of profit. And this is how you build it in. When you price jobs or create services, do not go with that low number that's going to pop in your head. Now, one of the things that we do as humans when we get into the business arena is what is a comfortable number for people? So that number you're going to come up with is going to be comfortable to you. I have a friend who has a landscaping company and he just did not know how to price jobs. And people be like, yeah, man, we'll do this. And he'd be working like a Hebrew slave and he'd have to do three to four jobs, whereas he had priced this one job correctly, that would have been a job. Because, see, there is no sin in putting in profit fat for you. Because, you know, everybody's like, you know, low price, low price, low price, low price. Low price, well, I, I should say not everybody. Cheap people are for low price. People who want certain things done a certain way are willing to pay for it. They're willing to pay for things done correctly. So let's say you have a lawn mowing service. How do you price that job? Well, first of all, let's look at your overhead. You've got gas, you've got your time. And everybody needs to have a number for their per hour work. My number is, you know, kind of obscene, but it's like, you know, if for me to do an hour of work, and I'm about to change it, we're going to go to a thousand bucks an hour. That's what I feel that I'm worth. So if I were to work 160 hours per month, that's $160,000. That's what I feel my time is worth. So one of the things that you have to do is put a number on your time. So when you, this is how to price a job correctly. Let's say you have a landscaping company and you're going out and pricing the job and you got to add in the gas, the truck, the employee, you got to add all this. Plus you got to put some stuff in there, you know, i.e. profit for you. Now, one of the things that is happening is the bottom feeders or the low price monsters are in the marketplace. And there are people who are just going to shop on price, don't care about quality, don't care. You know, like I used to be in a heavy Amazon FBA shopper over the last three years that has shifted to spending money on websites to get what I want and to get the quality that I want, because a lot of stuff from Amazon is cheap, like these lights, I actually spent 1800 bucks on these two lights. And if you've noticed that the quality of my videos has gone up, you know, I was kind of fuzzy right now. I'm clear. I'm clear. $1,800. And these lights that I had, I got off Amazon, they were like 500 bucks for three. And the quality wasn't there. So, People who are serious, people who are trying to do something will pay more money for better results. And those lights are giving me a better results. Like uh, I'm all up in here. Uh, these lights were a G. So understand. Now, part of that is how you sell it. One of the things that I'm doing is I'm offering. Um people who are part of the hustler kung fu family 
on the dominant male tip, I'm offering people who buy the dominant male course discounts on the hustlers kung fu life skills. Because one of the things that one of the reasons that I came back to the hustler kung fu brand is I was bored with money, income, profit. And if I'm bored, y'all going to be bored. And I, I think the reflection in the increased view, because this is the summertime, baby. Summertime, my views, they go in the toilet. But this year, this July is very different because uh, I'm getting more traction than normally do. So let's continue with that. But profit, you got to start your business and you got to learn how to sell. And you got to learn how to sell on benefits like what I'm doing with Hustlers Kung Fu Life Skill. You know, you're going to spend $2,000 over 20 months. But how much money is that going to make you in the future? And see, that's the, that's the sell. That's the unique proposition. That's the, that's the gas in the car that you take these courses. You spend $2,000 over a period of time. You will make money for the rest of your life. Think about that. So $2,000 or $6,000, that's not really that expensive. So you've got to figure out how to set up your offer. The offer is everything. I did a section in the dominant mail course today that, you know, due to some new research. And once again, these courses that I create, I don't create from theory. You know, there, there's some people who think that I, 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 I drive for Uber because I wanted to write a book on how to get the most bang out of Uber. So I signed up for the platform and I drove for it. This is one of the things that you have to do if you want to give people the information, the training that they need to be successful. So this isn't stuff that's just I'm pulling it out of my my gluteus maximus. This is stuff like I'm telling you, this dominant male course, whoo, it's going to change your life, bro. It's going to change your life. And the offer works with everything because the day section was about sexual formatting and the offer sets all that up. And on the same side of starting a service business, putting a product, the offer sets that up because one of the things that you have to understand is people do not buy features and benefits. People buy solutions. So the promise of H undergrad is we're going to solve your money problems for the future. You need money today. You need money tomorrow. You need money next year. You need money 10 years from now. You need money 20 years from now. You need money 30 years from now. There is never not going to be a period in your life where you're not going to need money. And that, that's the promise of H undergrad. So for you to build your offer, you got to set it off. So whatever you're doing, I want you to think in terms of how is this going to benefit this person? You're going to get better with money. You're going to get better with your body. These are the things that will be in that course this month. And then, you know, I will start doing some other stuff because one of the things you have to understand is the power of the presentation. There are people here on the Internet who are selling crap, making millions of dollars per year because their offer, their promise is so tight. Now, imagine if you have a tight product and you have a tight offering. That's a beautiful thing. So, you know, you, you got to work on your offer. What is you what are you offering people like, you know, there's, there's this place that I occasionally go to that has the best cookies on the planet. And I know when I go in there and I get some of these cookies they're going to melt in my mouth. So the offer is these cookies are delicious. They are delicious. And there's this cupcake place 
And they, the cupcakes are loaded with frosting. And they're like, eh, I don't go there that much. So for you to establish what you're going to do, you got to establish that offer. And the offer is the path to profitability. Because if you have a weak offer, you will have weak profits. If you have a strong offer, you will have strong profits. Because one of the things that you have to understand is how to set this thing into motion. Because one of my things is, you know, you can have this one amazing product or I've taken the route of volume and that has worked very well for me. I don't have one course. I probably collectively have 40 different courses and we'll be adding more. And, you know, there are some people, hey, well, Glenda, I want to talk to you. I am very careful with how I monitor my time because one of the things you've got to understand is time is opportunity. And if I tie myself down with a bad opportunity, then I, I can't take advantage of the better opportunity. So one of the things that you've got to do with your business is set it up where you can charge more money. And that brings me to branding. It's easier to charge more money for a brand. This has scientifically been proven. This is, you know, if you have a lawn service, and I, I see this all the time because all my neighbors have different lawn services. Very few people have taken the consideration to wrap their truck and put their employees in uniforms with the name, company name on it. That move right there instills confidence and you could charge more money. So if I would ever start a service business where I had employees, they would be in a uniform. They would have a dress code. You, you would not be able to come to work looking like you just rolled out of bed. You know, uh, every man, you know, will have to have haircuts. And you, you would have to shave if you have a beard. It'd have to be neat. These little touches, these little things matter so greatly when you're serving the public, especially with an upscale clientele, which is the street. I mean, whether they, someone, when they have parties around here, they buy limos for their kids. They have a horse. I mean, the other day, you know, staring out the window and saw people riding horses up and down the street. Horseback rides. So you got to brand your company. You got to get, you know, brand, Hustlers Kung Fu. If you notice, I'm wearing the gear in more videos. Uh, I'm not wearing the T-shirt, you know, because essentially I've got enough gear that I can wear something in each video. And I, I try to remind myself to do it because the brand is where the money is. If you can get a tight brand like McDonald's, money. Chick-fil-A, money. Macy's, money. Apple, money. So you want to start branding your company from day one. And you want to come up with a company mission statement. You know, the mission statement for us is this is where your real financial education begins because I don't believe the financial education begins that doesn't teach you how to make money. You know, how to get a job, hopefully get a high income, hopefully invest in that. That's not any any in any uh, financial education that doesn't consider tax strategy is whack. I mean, taxes, you pay a significant grip of money, your money in taxes. So without a mitigating tax strategy, so you pay less taxes legally, you, that's not a complete financial education, you know, because you got these stock people, you got the, the Bitcoin, Bitcoin, which crashed. It was like 1400 now it's like 10600 and people still pump, pump, pumping it up. Bitcoin, 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 you know. That, that, that's crazy. I, I got a Bitcoin cheerleader on my Facebook page and 
you know, very few people are buying in. Very few people are buying in because a lot of people got bit the last time. Bitcoin went up because, you know, the same thing that happened last time is going to happen this time. And it's just going to be, you know, probably not as much carnage because the average person is staying away from it. But you got to brand your company. You, you got to get some gear. You got to set it off nicely. You got to put some thought and consideration into your brand. And what does your brand stand for? And who are you? Who are the people? The company culture. Uh, one of the things I've seen that a lot of these young guys have done that very well is they've created very cohesive company cultures. Uh, that's one of the things you're going to have to do if you have employees. You're going to have to have a company culture. And one of the things that I did is I was hiring people for other people projects. So it really was hard to develop a culture. So this next go around when I hire people, they will be for the Hustler Kung Fu brand. They will be employees of Hustler Kung Fu because we're going to tone people up and like I'm toning you up. The art of profit. How you make your business make more money and you can be a profitable business because one of the things that you have to understand is. And this is some I've had these fights with these Amazon FBA people, these super, 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 super margins so thin you can see through them that that just doesn't work because this one guy, his company was doing seven million a year gross. He drove a Honda Civic. He didn't have much money in the bank. He was just plying all the money back into the company. Bruh, if you had diverted a million to your pocket and bought real estate each year, so when your Amazon business collapsed, you still been sitting pretty. And this, this is, you know, once again, with the financial education, people don't understand money. It's like, I'm, I'm plugged into this Amazon FBA stuff. We're making money. Our products feature, blah, 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 blah. How much money is that money you taking home? Because if I had an Amazon FBA business that's doing seven million a year, I guarantee you two to three million would be coming to the hustling godfather. And I would be channeling that into safe harbor assets that would pay a, a monthly income. Because, you know, like Grant Cardone, he ain't bought Bitcoin. He said, Bitcoin don't pay you no money. He said, and one of the things I agree with him is he doesn't buy toys with earned income. All his earned income goes into investments and he blows money from the passive income because I figure his passive income's got to be several million per year. And one of the things with passive income is you pay it a different, like with real estate, you pay a different tax rate. Does Grant's a full time real estate investor and he has a real estate fund and company. But this is one of the things that you have to understand. You've got to understand how money makes money because you should be starting your business to fund your investments. Because uh, what's going to happen here with this, this company is we're going to get into to the real estate and we're going to buy houses you know and people like hey you know don't do single family houses do multi-family apartments and stuff you know i may get in that after i get my feet wet but probably going to buy five or ten houses because five or ten houses is is retirement for most people you got ten houses the rent let's say the rent's 1500 per house that's fifteen thousand dollars per month that's $180,000 a year minus 10% for taxes and other stuff. It's 18,000 taxes and stuff. So you're going to come out with a, with over $125,000 retirement income. That is if the property's paid off. So that's part of it. And also I want you to understand the game. I want you to understand business because with the art of profit, 
You're always looking at numbers. You're going to love to caress numbers. You're going to hug numbers. You're going to make love to numbers. You're going to be writing love notes to numbers because the numbers got to make sense. So when you start your small business, you should charge. And this is something that I've talked with people in a consulting manner. Man, I wish I had charged more. You'd be shocked at what people will pay if you ask for it. And th this is the story of my life. I've asked for a lot and I've gotten a lot for life because, you know, here's the story of making money A to Z. It started off as a $19.99 ebook PDF. I eventually got up to $99.99, hundred bucks for this, this, this book. So once again, pricing is elastic pricing. You know, if you buy bad or you, you get, you put yourself in a bad situation. Yeah. The price is going to go down because you know, the old saying is what you bought it for. That's your profit. You know, when I buy a storage unit and I spend, you know, 200 bucks, I can't go back and change that. That's locked in. And fortunately for me, I was really good at buying storage units. I spent 200 bucks. You know, if I did really bad, I would make 800 to 1,000. And that was really bad. Typically, I would make way more than that because of the policies of, you know, profitability that I put in. Because with profit, and one of the things you have to understand, profit is not a dirty word. Say it with me. Profit. 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 Profit's nice. Profit is what you keep after expenses, after taxes. That goes in your pocket. That's the, the good stuff. That's the nice stuff. So one of the things that you have to understand is when you are setting up a business, you should carve profitability into it from day one. One of the things that happens, because you know a lot of people after me for selling these hats and stuff, to make a profit on the hat, because you know, I, I'll tell you, they're $29.29 for me to get these hats. So for me to make a nice profit, I would have to sell these hats for 60 bucks. And a lot of y'all are like, Good Lord, 60 bucks for a hat, Glendon. I know you're the hustling godfather, but that, that ain't gonna work for me. So that's the reason that I haven't done it. So part of your profitability is your supply chain. And a lot of people don't think about this. You want to make your supply chain as lean as possible. You want to get your materials. You want to get your product as cheap as possible because once you buy it, that's your profit. That don't change. And once again, for people who are buying and reselling, because uh, I did that for a long time and it's a good business. You can make a lot of money. It's just you got to hustle. You got to hustle, hustle, hustle. So I'm probably going to put together a course called the Art, Art of Profit. So look out for that. The Hustle Undergrad people, y'all will get that. And we, we about to stroke out and do a lot of things because one of the things that many businesses do, because, you know, uh, many small business owners barely make it or they just break even, meaning they're not making a lot of money. And that is, you know, because my business is very profitable. I can live here. I drive luxury cars. I have a very good lifestyle. And part of this is because the business is profitable. You know, I can do more free time stuff if I chose to, but I decided to dedicate myself to education this year, the rest of the year from now into December, crank it out, put out the content, put out this educational stuff and just really, really go hard go very, very hard, go so hard because one of the things that you should understand is part of setting this up is intention. And many people start a business because they don't want to work for nobody. 
man, you know, I, I don't do well taking orders and stuff. So you go ahead and you start a business and uh, you, you don't know how to put together a sales process. You don't know how to put together a marketing campaign. You just out here hustling by the by your knuckles and stuff and you're making it do and you're making money, but you're not very profitable or you're not as profitable as you could be. So one of the things that you should look at is your whole system, your whole, you, you should look at everything. You should look at how you put this together, what your costs are, what your numbers, what your cost of materials, because one of the things that you can do is revamp and make your business very profitable by just focusing on systems and processes. Like this, this, this is a system. I can sit down here, you know, uh, the laptop stays here. This mic stays here. This camera stays here. The Zoom recorder stays here. All I got to do is just sit down and go. I don't have to set stuff up. That's a system. And systems lend themselves to more efficiency and profits. So one of the things that you got to do to understand how you're going to set this thing off is ask yourself how many systems how many processes can you put in your business like having your you know like let's say you had a lawn, a lawn, a lawn service and for the way that your your people will greet the customer that should be a standard thing so each time you get a new customer or a customer they go to the door and like hey mr customer hey this is we're here with such and such lawn service and we, you know, we're here with Hustling Godfather Lawn Service. Uh, just letting you know. Then, you know, just cut the grass. Then also, like, leave them note, your yard was cut by Suave. I mean, these are things that people just don't do because they're so moving so fast. Because attention to detail. By creating these processes and systems, it makes it easy to train new people. So when you hire someone, because you let's say you got six employees who already know the systems and processes, guess who gets to teach the new employee the system and processes? Now, this is how we do it here at Hustling Godfather. So this is the stuff that lends itself to very profitable times because, you know, you, you got to look at your business in real terms and making real money. Because one of the things that all my businesses had in common was a healthy profit margin. Every business had a healthy profit margin. So one of the things that you got to do is look at your profit margin. Because like, you know, with this Amazon FBA stuff and all these other low margin, you know, it's like, hey, we're getting all this market share. And, you know, Uber right now, Uber and Lyft are spending a lot of money and they're not making money. They're losing money because they want to impress Wall Street. Don't play those kind of games. You know, you can start you a good, solid business, make a lot of money for you, you and your family by looking at profit. And one of the things that will help you is the five checking account blueprint. So that's below. Go ahead and get that. That's in the basic money management course. And these things will help you instill profitability because the first thing you need to do is understand your money, understand where your money's coming from, understand what's the most profitable bit part of your business. Ironically, at one point, the dollar section was almost as profitable as the online sales. It was crazy, you know, because if you don't know the story, we had 10,000 square foot warehouse and 4,000 square foot of the warehouse was dedicated to all the stuff that we could not sell online. Uh, clothes, microwaves, toasters, irons, and stuff, all that went in the dollar section. And what would happen is people would go in there and they would pile up. They wouldn't spend a dollar. They would spend 20 30 40 50 Or sometimes they just fill up a bag and like, he want $80? And, you know, one of the things I had to do was learn how to take the money because I'm like, okay, take this $80 because – you're going to have to pay to throw that stuff away. 
Because one of the things in the storage auction business is we got these things so quickly that it was hard to get rid of them. It was hard to um, move it because it would just stack up so quick. So we sold it cheap, you know, stack it deep and sell it cheap. Danny from the Lothonia flea market, he taught me that. And that's what we did. We stacked it deep. We sold it cheap and we sold a lot of stuff. All right. For, so for those guys who want to um, get an offer, once again, the offer is very important. Go ahead and enroll in H undergrad basic or H undergrad premium. The link's below. And what we're going to do is this month, I'm probably going to be generous because this is the 15th, which means we got 16 more days in the month. So everyone who has signed up for the art of H undergrad, I am probably going to let you into this new course free. But you got to act now because this this offer will not be going on forever. And when I say it's over, it's over. Because we're going to do an art of profit. Well, I'm going to break down these concepts in a linear fashion for business owners. So you guys can go ahead and put together the stuff that you need to put together to make your business profitable. Because one of the things I hear about, man, you know, we, we, you, don't, you don't charge enough. And if you with these low budget Larry's, you know, I'm telling you, there, there, there are people who will pay. They were people who will pay and you focus on them because essentially at one point uh, when I was doing the heavy consulting, I had a handful of people who was paying me a lot of money, a lot of money. And one of the things that you have to understand is mindset. You must have the mindset that what you're doing is worth what you want to charge. And this is a big thing for a lot of people. This is a scary thing because a lot of people do not want to charge what they feel they're worth. They're scared because of the responsibility. So once you understand that the process of putting together your business and the asking what you want, because once again, let's get into the mindset. The mindset is super important because once you fix your mind on certain numbers and you focus on them and you work on them and you ask for them and you do the work, you're going to get those numbers. And this is a, a big, big problem because people are like, how do I price a job? What should I charge for my stuff? And you should charge whatever you feel that it is worth. That's what you should charge. And you should work very hard to make sure that awareness and people know what you have to sell because, you know, a friend asked me, I was like, you know, if I don't tell people I'm selling this, they'll never know. And, you know, he, he that stuck with him because essentially, you know, I hustlers Kung Fu was kind of like, you know, it's passively doing a little bit, but until I really started talking about it again, it, it, it wasn't selling like it's selling now. And the dominant male is selling very well. Uh, I like that course. I like what's happening in that. So once again, below, you can enroll in, you know, uh, H undergrad, which is like a car payment. You get to drive it while you're paying for it. So everything's there. And there's, you know, and the courses are set up in the path that you should take them. And by halfway through the courses, you should be making money. So the courses become free. You use the information in these courses to make money to pay for the courses. How cool is that? All of that's below. So with that, I will see you guys later. Let's talk about how to make money in 2020 regardless of a recession with your business model and advanced hustle. One of the things that happens during a recession is things slow down, but the companies that keep marketing, the companies that keep pushing do well. I've weathered four recessions. 
Uh, the first three, I had a job. And the last one, I had a business and my business grew. And I fully expect that to happen this time. So what I've done, because there's been a lot of people who've been asking, hey, how can I join H undergrad? How can I get into that? How can I start making money? First of all, you got to get the mental foundation to building up your business. That is a critical, critical component to being successful with your business model or advanced hustle. I've got the data. I've looked at it. The people who've done the best with my courses already had the right mindset. So there are many folks here who are looking for a personal guarantee. And I can give you one. If you do the work, if you're not a yard bird, if you apply yourself, you'll make money. I can guarantee you that. So there's your guarantee. But the thing is, are you going to hold up your end of the bargain? Because this is, you know, everybody wants to make that Wi-Fi money without really doing too much. And you're going to have to do some stuff with H undergrad. You're going to have to go ahead and put yourself in the driver's seat of success. Now, one of the things that I'm doing a little different. So let me go ahead and set this up. What I've done is you're going to get the courses. It's kind of like a car deal. You know, you get to drive the car for a little money down and you get to enjoy the car while you pay for it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to offer you two versions of H undergrad. First of all, you're going to get these access to the courses. Plus, I'm going the courses are arranged in the order that you should take them, but you'll have full access to them. So the first one is Hustler Undergrad Basics includes the pre-purchase of the courses for ninety nine per month for 20 months. And H Undergrad Premium is two hundred dollars per month, which will include live training once a month. So that's your two ways to get in. So what we're going to do is, and the way that I set this up is it makes sense. First of all, you know, you can get the hustle mindset, pip your mind for success book to tune you up. That's part of the course. You can go below the video and get it for free. The hustle of mindset, pip your mind for success, volume three, primal drive. That's part of the course. Your next course you'll take is Becoming the Boss. The next course you'll take is How to Never Be Broke Again. The next course you'll take is the $25 Hustle, the 10 Essential Steps to Hustling, the Craigslist Marketing Course, the 24-Hour Startup, the Side Hustler Starter Pack, which gives you access to the storage auction books, the Crippet Craigslist, and all that other stuff. I've uh, included these older webinars to get your mind right. Asking for the money, the Uber sales course. See, what you're going to do is you're going to go through all of this stuff first. There's a pathway like you go to college, you got to do your freshman year before you do your junior year. So you should go through the hustle mindset, pimp your mind for success first and get these books then becoming the boss, and then you go through all of this stuff before you get to asking for the money. I'm also going to include the art of holding companies. All that stuff is included in this. Fat Cat Secrets, how LLCs make you bank. Fat Cat Secrets, Fat Cat Secrets contracts, how to organize parroting companies, what, why, what, and where. 30 days to 2,500, the original course, 30 days to 2,500, the physical course, and I threw in the child support and disruptive mating. So you've got a money-making curriculum here. 
all for 99 bucks a month or you do 200 per month what i will do is i will throw in the folks who are doing 200 bucks a month i will throw in this course so you'll get that and once again you know if you're getting the basics you can buy this separately because the courses are arranged to gently take you through a path of how I started, how I got my hands dirty, the things that I did, the things that I put together, the things that I shaped together. And this is what the course will do for you. And you've got 20 months to pay for it. And this is one of the things that I should stress. As you go through the course, within three to five months, you should be making money. If you're going through the courses and you're putting some stuff together, you should be making money. So giving you these courses where once you start making money, you won't even be paying for the courses because the information in the courses you can use to create income. That's the guarantee. If you are actually on these courses, doing what you need to do, taking the courses, executing, putting stuff out there. So you should be making money long before your last payment. There's no one else that's doing this. And I have videos up here on YouTube for free. They'll make you money. So that's your guarantee. This is the new thing that I'm doing. Plus, there will be some other education. Now, this will not include the dominant male. This will not include that. That's a separate educational track for those who really, really want it. And that will, you know, go to the influence frame, all that stuff's over there. And let's talk about making money during a recession. You start your business and the key to making money during a recession is staying out of debt. This is what kills most people. You got an advanced hustle model. There's no reason for you to be in deep debt. And one of the things that, you know, if you have a lot of personal debt, you need to be working on getting rid of that. That is like baggage. You know, before you start investing in a stock market or any type of investment, you should be debt free. So you have more money to apply to your investments versus having to separate your money. You know, you, you're separating your money between 10 different bills and then you're trying to invest in, you know, the 11th section, you know, bigger money invested yields bigger returns, just facts. So, you know, you can use these courses to create a strong hustle to retire debt. You can use these courses to create extra income out of nothing. Because one of the things that happens with people is Everybody wants to chill out, you know, have work life balance. There's going to be a two to three year period where you, there will not be work life balance because you're building that business. And that's hard for a lot of people to understand because there are many people under this false uh, notion that they can build a business, take eight vacations per year, and it's going to work out. I'm here to tell you it's not. For those of you who, you know, like if someone's getting married or you got a family reunion, go. That's like a once in a every now and then type thing. But, you know, roll up your sleeves, be prepared to give up your weekends, be prepared to give up your free time so you can live like no one else lives. So you can set yourself up to have the lifestyle that you want in the future. You know, you may not have it now. I mean, when I was in that boarding house, I, I didn't see this. I didn't see my life being this way. I knew I wanted it to be this way, but I didn't really see it until I actually got into business. And it's going to be hard for you to see until you actually get into business and you get exposed to new people, different people, 
uh, folks who are attempting to do something big and bold with their life. That's one of the things about starting a business and developing business owners as friends is your perspective drastically expands. Because at the end of this course, you should have a functional business that makes at least a thousand bucks a month. So you're going to pay two grand for the course over time. And, you know, let's say you, 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 it takes you six months to get your hustle going on. This is new income. This is income you didn't have before. So essentially, the sooner that you are go through the courses, you get them locked down. And the sooner you get to the parts where you're making money, this course is free. This course is free. I want you to think about that. The minute that you start using the information and the training contained in these courses, this course starts to become free because that's new money you never had before. That's new money that you never had before. And I know from the income stats that an extra thousand bucks a month is life changing for most of you. You know, uh, hopefully you'll do more, but that's the minimum. That's the, the ground floor because, you know, I have people who um, took you know, my advice and take this course and this information and apply it to a service business and you will make money much faster. But I want you to think about it. You spend two thousand dollars over the next 20 months to get this course. And then year one, you make. Twelve thousand, that's ten thousand dollars to the plus side that you never had year two. You make twenty two thousand. That's twenty two thousand dollars that you wouldn't have had year three, because the thing is with these courses is once you get in business and once you learn these lessons, they keep giving for the rest of your life. The stuff that I learned at Renacree, I still use to this very day. So it's you got to look at it from the expansion of what your life will be in the future with the training that's enclosed in these courses. Because, you know, three years from now, you're making an extra thirty, forty thousand dollars a year on top of your job. That's substantial. That's bill paying money. That's mortgage paying money. And that's where I want to get you guys and take you there in a method that you will not freak out because you know, if I sit here and say that, you know, in a year's time, you guys would go go from where you are to a hundred thousand. Most of you would freak out. It's too much. It's too fast. It's unbelievable because there's levels to getting money. And this course and this curriculum will take you through the levels. Uh, some people could handle, you know, going from nothing to a hundred K. Some people can't, most people can't, most people freak out. I remember I had a roommate one time that I didn't have a check on me, but I had to cash her rent and I just gave her cash and she freaked out. It was like 600 bucks. And she was like, Oh, I feel like a drug dealer with $600. So people, people are not used to having excess cash because it's so rare. You know, it's not a norm for many people to have, you know, 50 to a hundred. And I don't recommend keeping millions in the bank, but if you got money coming in so fast that stacks up like that, so be it. But you know, the most you should keep in the bank is 150, 200, 300 K because you know, money in the bank loses money because it's not working for you. You know, you could leave it in there like a year or two and it'll be okay. Cause you're not going to lose too much, but more than that, you lose a lot of buying power. But what this course will do is teach you, you know, if you get the financial education thing, like for the folks who go for the $200 per month option, you're going to get the financial course. Um, that's life. That's a game changer. So you're going to get used to having money because this is the component. Because once you start your business and you go through this basic financial management course, you'll be set up where you optimize your money already. So when the new money comes in, it doesn't get absorbed in lifestyle creep. 
like I had some people start some business and the, the money from the business was paying for daycare and all these other things, which, you know, if you got to do that, you got to do that. But that doesn't help the business grow. So once you go ahead and get your money situated where you can optimize your income, you, you know, you, you got all your bills paid. You got this extra two, three, four, five grand coming in a month. And it actually can come in and stack up because you've optimized your money. You've gotten rid of bills. You know how to have the five checking account blueprint. You're allocating money. You're paying yourself. You, you always have money. Uh, what this course is going to do is you're always going to have money. Like I did this today. Because I'm using a new PayPal account. Well, an old, old PayPal account. And I just went into the bank and got this out the ATM. Thousand bucks. And I will be able to go to that PayPal account tomorrow or the day after and withdraw another thousand bucks. And this is money that I'm putting into my real estate fund to buy a house. Because, you know, they can only allow you a thousand because, you know, I could link up the checking account and just transfer the money, which I probably do. But it's just nice going to the ATM, putting that ATM card in there and hearing that. <laughs> and, you know, then go ahead and put it in the bank because I, I, I probably as that account grows. I'm probably going to have to, you know, set the checking account and transfer the money because it will be too large for cash deposits. But this is what I'm talking about. All my bills are paid. I don't have any credit card debt. I got extra money coming in that I can put into an account to put into investments of assets. And that's where I want you to be. And that's what this course will do for you. Because it's a look at the long term. Uh, one of the things that's a big problem is we have a lot of people who have short term thinking. I need money now because I'm in pain right now. I got to pay rent. I got to pay child support. I need that money right now. And as long as you're in that right now situation, you're never going to change your financial life. You're never going to be in a situation where you can stack money because you have no financial discipline. There should be no reason that you're in a situation where you need money right now. You're mishandling money. You're mistreating money. You don't respect money. And this is why you don't have any. Because, you know, essentially you want to have money on your credit card, on you and in the bank. You want to have money three places because this is what's funny about money. Money attracts more money. So if you're in a situation where you don't have no money, you have no money to attract any more money. And, you know, I'm speaking from experience. I used to be the person who used to go to the pawn shop, did the tie the pawn long thing. And actually borrowed money from friends because I was so broke. I had no personal discipline, no financial discipline. I was just living for the moment. And you got to get out of that because, you know, going through these courses. Let me show you what this will do for you. All right. So. How to never be broke again. This is a very important co course and it's early in the $25 hustle because essentially what's happening is I'm bringing you guys along in baby steps. I know that mentally, you know, it, it sounds nice to win the lottery and, you know, go from nothing to millions of dollars, but why lottery winners broke after so many years because they don't know how to handle money. You know, I, I mean, it, it's, it's ridiculous. Like someone wins $150 million and then they're in trouble. You know what $150 million will do? You can take a hundred million buy commercial real estate and blow 50 million and never be broke again a day in your life. You'll have monthly reoccurring revenue. Yet these folks, they see money as I got 150 million. I don't need to do anything else. When that type of money 
dictates that you do something else because if you just took a hundred hundred million and parked it in apartment complexes, you probably get three, probably you know one to three million, depending on how you buy it, per month in reoccurring revenue. One to three million per month. So after you know three or four years, you've got your principal back. Now you, you now, now now they're just a cash cow, and you know we'll be talking about this for those people who choose the um, two hundred dollar per month option. I'm going to have a lot of classes about money, what to do with money, how to do money. Once again, you, you're not getting into the dominant male stuff. Those are going to be separate educational tracks. Because one of the things is this is for people who want to change their lives. So, you know, becoming a boss, how to never be broke again, the $25 hustle, the 10 essential steps to hustling, the Craigslist marketing course, that will do so much for you. It really will. The side hustler starter pack. So this gives you a lot here, right here. How to start an online business for 500. Pimpin' Craigslist for fun and profit. Hustling 105, how to start your business as fast as possible. 10 essential steps to hustling now in the future. How to get a secure credit. You know, just stuff for people who are in, who are on the fringes of finances. Who, who've never really had the proper financial education. And, you know, if you are broke Dick Danny, the Craigslist marketing course, a 24 hour startup. All this is beginner rookie stuff. And as you go through the course, because when you get here. This is when things get more real. And then the art of holding company, fat cat secrets, you get all of that. Then 30 days to twenty five hundred because. When you're getting into, when you hit this juncture, you should be making a thousand or more a month when you get here. So once you've got to that level, then, you know, there, there will be some people who will take this course and get to 10, 15, 20K per month within a year. Because there are some people who just get it, who understand. And there are some people who are going to, you know, because everybody learns at their own pace. And there are going to be some people, it's going to take them a year to get up to $1,000 per month. But if you're making 25, 30 K a year and you create your own business, making a thousand dollars a month, that's 12,000. That's 30% of your income. Well, actually, if you're making 25, that's 50% of your income. That's a game changer. So I got all of this stuff in here. And what I want you guys to do is to go through the course the way it was intended because some people will like jump around like, I don't need this. Understand this is the process that I went through to get where I'm at. I went through the resale. I went through the company formation. I went through all this other stuff. And I'm taking you through these courses through the same journey that I went through. And you may skip around and you may short circuit yourself. Because lessons that were learned from the storage auction business helped me with my internet business. Because business knowledge builds upon itself. And the more data points, the more information you have, the more that it's going to stand out, the more that you're going to be able to accomplish, the more resources you will have at your hands. Because once again, this is the pathway that I took. This is the only way I know how to do it. I don't, I don't know how to do anything else. So you've got that. And, like, you know, once again, for those who opt to um, let's see, we'll make a change. 
because you're not getting the disruptive male stuff. So I need to go ahead and get that out of there because the disruptive male stuff, you know, because what I will do for people who buy disruptive male stuff, I will give those guys discounts for this stuff because, you know, part of being a dominant, competent man is having your own economics. And this is something I have been stressing for years. And a lot of people just don't get it, don't want to get it, want to keep hoping and believing that they will be empowered by doing what they're doing. And it's just not going to happen. So there, there's a lot here. So let's get rid of that. And this is Hustler Undergrad. All right. So there we have it. And for those of you who want to get past this, because, you know, let's see. You can buy this package all at once and save a G and get this if you buy this. Or if you don't want all that and you just want the holding company stuff, you can get that because I'm about to change the price of the holding company stuff. So And I'm going to make some more changes because essentially, like I said, you know, I've been talking about we were about to get into some massive educational training. And one of the things that I'm going to do for the people who bought the first version of H undergrad, they're going to get all of the monthly trainings because uh, that's something I used to do and I've gotten away from that. So we're going to go back to that. We'll be covering various topics about starting businesses, making money. And, you know, so you'll be able to get this, but your best, the most bang for your buck will be the $200 option. And essentially, this is how this works. Once you go ahead and you sign up, Give me 24 hours to add you to your respective course and set your password and everything. So. And one of the things is, you know, um, probably, you know, there will be one major educational thing once a month. I realized I was rolling too fast for you guys. You know, it's like, bam, here's an idea. Let's do it today. And I didn't give people enough time to reserve that space. So I'm going to give you all like two or three weeks notice of what's going to happen and how it's going to happen and things we're going to talk about. So this is how you're going to make money in a recession, because the thing is, last recession, I made more money. And currently we're in a recession. And I'm making, you know, my income has gone up because people are in a situation where they need the knowledge and the training to start a business. And that's what you're going to get here. You can start a business or an advanced hustle model. An advanced hustle model is where you take, like, say, painting and you turn that into a business or you take haul offs or you take cutting grass or this will help you with all of that 
because essentially once you get through this you'll be ready because you know essentially once you're making money because you can start a business and make money for a few months and then set up your holding company and operating structure this is something you know unless you know for sure that you're going to get into this this is one of the things that you can do to set that up because essentially how good would it feel to have two three thousand dollars in the bank that you can use for your holding company expenses uh, this is one of the bigger issues is people are like i don't have enough money you're you're not really being active you're not uh, setting yourself up properly because you're not doing anything sitting here watching youtube videos is good but not taking action is bad and what these courses are going to do are going to prompt you to take action they're going to prompt you to get busy so once again this is how you get in Go right up there, you know, pick out if you're going to take Hustler Grad Premium or you're going to take Hustler Undergrad Basic. It includes the purchasing, you know, because you're, you're, you're having access to all these courses. So it's, it's just like a car contract, a, a car loan. You have the car even though you haven't paid for it. So just be aware of that because you can go in here and take these courses at your time or and i recommend that you set up a training schedule where every day that you go through some course work and every day you apply the principles that are in these courses because that's how you're going to make faster progress by having the structure of a schedule just like every saturday i'm gonna sit here for four or five hours if that's all you got, that's all you got. But that's not optimum. The optimum thing would be to spend five to seven days a week on these courses, taking it a little bit in and actually go over these courses three to four times. Because each time you go over it, you're going to hear something that you did not hear the first time. So this is one of the things. And probably for people who get the Hustler grad option after your first few payments your first payment i'm going to put you in the basic financial course and then i'm going to put you in some of these other courses as a thank you but i'll do that per month and you know just once again you're, you're not going to get into the dominant male stuff or the the education track that's over here and i've said that three times because i know people will ask because people are like, because, you know, essentially, you know, we, we got women over here who, who want nothing to do with the dominant male, which is cool. But they're looking for the education that's in H undergrad. So here's the deal. And once again, give me 24 hours or less to add you, to set you up. And I'll do that. And we'll be rocking and rolling. Because the thing is, success is a process that leaves clues. And if you tweak a few things in your life each day, you'll get closer and closer to success. You'll get closer and closer to the life that you want. You'll get closer and closer to achieving the things that you want. You will get that Wi-Fi bread. You will live a better life. And rich folks, you know, God willing, tend to typically live longer than poor folks. I, I see it all the time. You know, I think Mellon lived to be 107. You know, the dude had like three liver transplants. They kept that old guy alive. But, you know, once again, in, in my video, you're getting older and poor. Let's say you're you're 40 something and you get on this track. You get older and you get richer. Because typically the average man income peaks around 45. Then it starts going down, 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 down. 
by employing and doing this, your income can go up. You can make more money the older you get because you, you're making yourself more valuable. You're making yourself a producer, an asset to society, because that's what happens when you start a business. You become a problem solver on a at scale. You're solving multitude people's problem. You start a restaurant, you're solving the problem of people being hungry. You start an apparel company, you're solving the problem of people having something to wear. You start an education company, you're educating people who need your education. So starting a business makes you a massive problem solver at scale. And there's intrinsic value to that. And there's so many rewards. You know, when I go through the comments and I'll see someone because of this dude, this is why I started my service business and I'm making $1,500 to $2,000 a month. That's real. That's real people getting real results. And if you watch this channel and you've attended the live streams, you have seen multitude of people making that Wi-Fi bread. And, you know, like, like what I like to call the 5%. Because there, I don't know what it is with the average person that unless something bad happens, most people just don't move unless something really bad happens. And maybe this was what happened to me. I had all types of misery in my life. I had, you know, I was living in a crackhead boarding house. I was living in the West End, a bad neighborhood, a lot of pain, just living. And I don't recall ever being like super happy. I had some good moments in the hood, but not like my life today, where I'm always happy, where I'm always looking forward to stuff, where I'm always positive. And it, this is success begets positivity. So the more success you have in your life, the more positive you'll be. And this is a good thing. <clears throat> and also, if you have kids, now let's talk about this. You can teach them the stuff that you learned. So you can spend that $2,000 or $4,000 in the next 20 months or, you, well, like $6,000. You can spend that money now. And that money could inform your kids how to make money when they're adults. So this small investment is really small when you look at it from that level that you have increased your income. Now you're teaching your kids how to set up themselves where their income, so you can spend that two thousand dollars or six thousand dollars now, and we could be talking about hundreds of thousands of dollars over the years for you and your kids. Hundreds of thousands of dollars over time. Your kids will never be poor. Your kids will never have to work a job they don't want to work. Think about that as a parent that you can give your kid that kind of legacy. Think about how you can set that up. Think about how you can empower them to be positive, productive people. Think about that. Because once again, you know, you, you, you're nowhere else is you're getting this where you can go ahead and do this like a car loan where you have access to the information and you pay for it over time. And, you know, 99 bucks a month, that's most people can do that. I ain't trying to break your pockets. I'm not trying to stick you up with a gun. So go ahead and get in this. And I will see you guys later because we're about to do a lot of educational training. A lot of stuff is coming your way. And just be prepared for it. So with that, I'll see you guys later.